everybody. How's it going? So got a quick one here for you today. What I want to do is I want to take you through some of the hidden functions for awesome free plugins in Reaper. Now, I just put out my course, Mixing Metal in Reaper with free plugins, and I thought I'd touch on something, how to install some of these plugin repositories, because it can be a little tricky to the uninitiated. I was definitely scratching my head at first as well, and I thought a dedicated episode might be a big help. So what we want to do is go to reapack.com and grab the Rea pack, And this allows us to load various free plugins in and out of Reaper. Now, unfortunately, this is strictly Reaper only. These are some of the JavaScript plugins. There's just a huge wealth of awesome stuff in here. So what you want to do is you want to grab the version for your operating system. In this case, I'm using 64-bit Windows on my Slick Audio laptop. Yes, I still have it. I bought it last year. It's still freaking awesome. So we're just going to grab that and download that right to my desktop. Minimize this. We're going to pull up Reaper. What we want to do is go to Options, Show Reaper Resource Path. Now we want to close Reaper because we don't want this open while we're doing this. We need to do a restart. Just want to scroll down to User Plugins, and we grab grab this Reaper DLL file, the Repack DLL, drop it in User Plugins, close that out, start Reaper. And that's basically it. It's really that simple. Now, if we want to grab some of these plugin repositories, what we want to do is we want to go grab this. We want to grab the JS plugin pack. And I'm going to put a link for this in the description below. This is free to anybody. We're going to grab this. Now, next, we're going to go back into Reaper. Go to Reapack, import repositories. Here's the ones we already have. And we're just going to paste, hit that. Boom, we're good. Now, this gives us a chance to install some, and this is really cool. If we want to uh, browse packages, this is like the insane amount of plugins and freebies and just extensions and overall functionality added into Reaper. And there's some really cool ones in here. If we want to go into, say, like some of the Psyche plugins, these are really great. These are absolutely free. Again, they're in that JS plugins pack we just installed. Say if I want to go... Stereoizer, all we want to do is hit install and apply. Now we're good to go. Stereo Manipulator, I put that in. Uh, Swellotron, I have no idea what the hell that is. Ton Saturator with anti-aliasing. Uh, let's reinstall that. Okay, apply. Boom. Psyche Transients, this thing's great. I'm actually using this in my course, Mixing Metal in Reaper with free plugins. I'm going to show you guys what that's all about in just a minute here. And uh, of course, the Satan verb. I've already got this installed as well. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull up the project and show you guys a couple of these because I think they're pretty freaking awesome. All right, so we've got Reaper up and running. Here's the project for my mixing metal course. And it's pretty massive. There's something ridiculous like, I don't know, what do we got here? 89 tracks or something crazy like that? Yeah, 89 tracks. It's an eight-minute song. We've, we've got everything to like a, a live grand piano. This is the first grand piano I ever recorded. And we got some real cool contrabass stuff going on here. Just got to find them. Here we are. Pretty cool. That's Chase Bryant on Contrabass there. He's actually working as an L.A. session musician these days. We tracked this back in 2011 when uh, he was still based between Windsor and London, Ontario. So good for Chase. It's always a pleasure to work with him. And uh, yeah, he's got some interesting stuff going on here. It's a cool song to work on. Yeah, there's just there's so many elements going on and so much happening and there's so so many different moods in this track it's uh quite ambitious and this has definitely been my longest course ever this took uh, the course edited down to six and a half hours just because there's so much stuff to go on anyway i just want to show you guys a couple of these cool plugins that are absolutely free that all you got to do is grab one of those repositories and start exploring and seeing what you can come up with of course i was talking about the transients Shaper, and this is basically a transient designer plugin, and I'm using it on snare here on this mix. Just adding a little bit of bite. And 
Oh, yeah, I got to mention, yeah, we had Jackson Ward guest on the drums on this because I wanted to kind of beef up the drum sound a little bit. Nothing against the original drummer. I just thought the recording could have been better, and that was strictly my fault. Jackson is a, not only a stellar musician as a, as a drummer in the studio, he's also an outstanding recording engineer. So he gave us some really awesome drum tracks to, pl to play with. So it shouldn't be that difficult to get them sounding awesome. The other thing I was looking at was some of those stereo plugins and whatnot. I'm going to throw it up on the rhythm guitars here. And let's just see where I'm at here. And we're going to go into the JS plugins here. And what do we want to take a look at some of the Psyche stuff here? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. My apologies if I am. So, like, we got the uh, stereo bub stereoizer. I have no idea what the hell this is. This might be really cool, though. Wow. Of course, I'm on headphones, so I'm not sure if I'm getting the whole story here. It's kind of hard to hear, you know, stereo widening on phones. That is definitely doing something, though. That's cool. And that's, like I said, absolutely free. So a really cool spectrum analyzer here, too. I put I installed this earlier. This is, this is really awesome. I really like this because it's got a waterfall display here. I don't even know what all these channels are for. What we got themes? That's pretty neat though. I don't I don't necessarily use waterfall displays, uh, but for those of you guys who are into that sort of thing, there you go. Very cool. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see if we can just pull up something else really quick. Actually, there was a saturator I want to check out. Maybe we can throw that on uh, maybe the artificial room here. Now, the artificial room is a co concept that was developed by Jason Constantine. I did a dedicated video on this a few months back, and I go through it a little bit more in depth in the lesson, but I just want to say a great big thank you to Jason for sharing that awesome tip. It's pretty damn cool. Now, I just want to throw a, that saturator on there because I thought that looked kind of interesting. Ton saturation with anti-aliasing. I don't know what this is going to do. Let's take a listen. Again, not the prettiest interface at all, and that's not the idea with the JS plugins. I mean, like, some of them look really cool. I'm going to show you what, what I think is really awesome in just a minute. But these definitely get the job done, and you don't have to drop a crap ton of money on these, which is great. Let's change the ceiling on this. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. Take that off. Hey, that's pretty cool. And uh, just the one thing I want to show you guys that we used quite a bit, and this is a gorgeous looking plugin that's absolutely free, and this is the Satan Verb. And this is really cool. And that's part of, part of that uh, JS Effects repository. You just got to dig that up and just install it, and away you go. This is a really awesome sounding reverb. I I would put this on a client's record, like no problem. Yeah, we got we've got a crap ton of vocals going on here. But um, let me see if I pull up chorus vocal. And help it. When you're listening to my voice, your mesmerized tip not Once again, you can go grab that plugin for absolutely free. It is absolutely spectacular. I really like the look of it as well. I just think it's kind of kind of awesome, to be honest with you. But you can also grab my lesson, Mixing Metal in Reaper with free plugins for 67 bucks. We've also got a pro version where myself and Warren Hewitt 
are going to look at your mixes and rate them and give you feedback on an exclusive live stream. That's for like an extra 20 bucks. And if you're feeling super ambitious and you want to learn the basics about Reaper, uh, we've also got it bundled with the Ultimate Reaper Guide for 127 bucks for everything. And that's Adam Steele's course where he takes you through the absolute basics of Reaper, of tracking a song and putting it together to mixing the master. This is uh, definitely a very good companion piece to that. And that's all on sale for the next week and a half or so. I've got a link to everything in the description. Anyway, hope you found the video helpful and I hope you guys really enjoy those free plugins because I think they're absolutely freaking amazing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.